Now in Good Morning Northwest, an 11-year-old killed in Medical Lake by her own brother. The new information we're learning about that case. And winter weather alerts are going up around the inland northwest as a winter storm is on its way. We'll show you the timeline. And extending the truce in the Mideast as Hamas releases more hostages, including an American. What Israel says has to happen to expand the pause in fighting. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Glad you're with us. I'm Robin Nance. It is Thursday, November 30th, and you heard it. A winter storm heading our way. Let's check in with Matt Gray. He's filling in for Mark Peterson with your first alert forecast. And yeah, Mother Nature trying to give us a little bit of a sneak preview in some areas. Out at the Spokane International, we are seeing a few snow flurries this morning. We've also seen some reports of freezing drizzle as we've gone throughout the night. So... Everybody slow down out there, take it a little easy with how chilly it is this morning. You could certainly run into some slick roads just like we saw around the region on Wednesday morning. We are seeing some returns on radar this morning. Let's show you where we're seeing those because we could see once again a combination of some snow flurries and freezing drizzle. Basically that goes well, from the Tum Tum area down to Reardon and the Highway 2 corridor all the way to the Wilbur area. We're also keeping an eye on some uh, what looks like a kind of more notable batch of snow potentially that has just moved to the east of the Lind area and also potential around Ritzville, which did see some slippery conditions and some crashes yesterday. So everybody just slow it down. Take it easy. Better to get into winter driving mode today, considering what we've got coming for tomorrow. Here is this afternoon's forecast. Highs will be in the 20s and low 30s. Another chilly and cloudy day. And then tonight, the snow begins. Snow and slick roads everywhere, pretty much everywhere, Friday through Saturday morning. A weather alert day for Friday. I'll go over the timing on when we'll see the heaviest snow coming up. Matt, thank you. The apparent ringleader of a massive multi-state insurance fraud scheme that hit Spokane and Coeur d'Alene is now in custody. William Mize has been on the run since 2019. According to court documents, Mize was involved in dozens of insurance fraud schemes dating as far back as 2013. U.S. Marshals arrested him at a marina in Jacksonville, Florida yesterday. A judge has signed off on an order to extradite Mize back to eastern Washington. Breaking news overnight, Israel and Hamas have extended their fragile truce for one more day. The new deal is expected to lead to the release of more hostages kidnapped from Israel in exchange for imprisoned Palestinians. Let's get to Sydney Charles at the Breaking Now desk with the latest information. That's right, Robin. That new Israel-Hamas ceasefire extension deal was reached just minutes before the previous pause was due to expire. Here's footage of Secretary of State Antony Blinken arriving in Israel just last night to work alongside negotiators in order to hammer out details for that deal for that further extension of the truce. The expectation had been to extend the pause in fighting for at least another day or two with the focus on releasing women and children. Officials from both sides issued statements saying the pause and military action will continue for a seventh day. Now this marks the second time the pause and military action has been lengthened since the original four day truce that started on Friday. Since the pause began, officials say dozens of Israelis were freed by Hamas and 210 Palestinians were released from Israeli jails. Some much needed aid has also been brought into the Gaza region. The Hamas led Ministry of Health says the healthcare system in northern Gaza has lost more than 60% of its capacity over all of its hospitals. But even with the truce in place, some officials say it's still not enough. The level of aid to Palestinians in Gaza remains completely inadequate to meet the huge needs of more than 2 million people. According to Israel's military, the pause in fighting between Israel and Hamas will continue amid ongoing talks for the release of more hostages. The Israeli position is crystal clear on this. If Hamas continues to release hostages 10 a day, we will extend the pause. Still, Israel's prime minister reiterated yesterday that it will resume its campaign to eliminate Hamas, saying after the return of hostages is done, Israel will return to fighting. Coming up in 30 minutes, more details on those hostages being released and testimonies from family members who have been reunited. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now.
New court documents show a man suspected of shooting and killing his 11-year-old sister in Medical Lake and then trying to kill himself is not likely to recover. According to the affidavit, security, uh, rather surveillance video captured Jordan Lynn Brownlow shooting Lily Stolworthy Sunday outside his Mustang, then driving away. Once he got about five blocks away, he sent his roommate and some family members a group text that read, I'm sorry, please forgive me. He was found with a gunshot wound and taken to the hospital. According to court documents, Brownlow shows no brain activity and is not expected to survive. The court documents did not reveal a motive for the shooting. A candlelight vigil for Lily Stolworthy will be held by her friends tonight at 6.30 at Wilcox Park in Medical Lake. More people die by suicide in the United States last year than any other year on record. Nearly 50,000 lives lost. Men were four times more likely than women to die by suicide. Despite those increases, suicide rates among children and teens dramatically decreased. Last summer, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services launched the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. You can reach out anytime, day or night, if you are struggling. In a little more than a month, Spokane Mayor-elect Lisa Brown will take office. She's only been in City Hall for about three days, but already has plans to address some of Spokane's most pressing issues. She says homelessness and affordable housing are her biggest concerns, and she plans to tackle those immediately. We asked Brown about her plans for the Trent Resource Shelter. She says she anticipates changes at some point, but her main focus is keeping people warm this winter. Brown says she wants to do more than offer housing, though. She wants to offer people experiencing homelessness a way out. I want to build up uh, homeless outreach, utilizing um, nonprofits and people with lived experience in homelessness, people with mental health and behavioral health experience in doing outreach. And I know that that is something that the community very much wants to see happen, and we want to offer people assistance. A Brown says she is also looking into appointing an interim police chief while she looks for Chief Craig Meidel's replacement. He resigned a couple of weeks ago. Good morning, Northwest time is now 607. Matt Gray in for Mark Peterson this morning with so much to talk about. So much to talk about and oh, Robin, there's even more because sometimes oh your best weather observation is just going outside and we are seeing about the lightest snow you will ever see oh in downtown Spokane right now. You can actually see a little bit of white in the parking lot on the Veterans Memorial oh, yeah. Arena. So yeah, we got to take a spin around the radar because things are happening already and there's a lot more snow in your forecast coming up. And we're hearing the stories of extreme team volunteers behind the Making Spirits Bright display coming up on 4 News Now. Also ahead, the world's richest man costs his company potentially $75 million because of an anti-Semitic social media post. This morning, how Elon Musk is apologizing, but also claiming he's being blackmailed. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. I'm Jonah, and I'd like to welcome you to the brand new Coeur d'Alene Nissan. You'll find the grand dealership lobby open, comfortable, and relaxing. A service center with state-of-the-art equipment committed to getting you quickly and safely back on the road. There's much more to experience. I'm inviting you to stop in and see us. We're just off Highway 95 in Coeur d'Alene. Try Tide Power Pods with 85% more Tide in every pod. Who needs that much more Tide? Everyone's going to need more Tide. It's a mess out there. That's why there's 85% more Tide in every power pod. See? Satisfaction with AARP and the Stones. AARP members get special pre-sale access to the Stones Tour 24. Hack the Diamonds. Pre-sale starts November 29 at 10 a.m. local time. Not an AARP member? Learn more or join today. Go, Chiefs, go! Ahead, here comes Martin. He's breaking it behind the defense. Martin backhander shoots up. Looking for an opening. Snap the shot. And Saturday, December 2nd in the Spokane Arena. It's the Spokane Chiefs Teddy Bear Toss. The Chiefs play Prince George, bring your new teddy bears or stuffed animals to the game, and when the Chiefs score their first goal, throw them on the ice. We'll gather them up for the Spokesman Review Christmas Fund to be distributed around the community. Saturday, December 2nd, puck drops at 6.05. For tickets, go to SpokaneChiefs.com. Spokane's grand holiday tradition lives at Christmas Tree Elegance in the Davenport Hotel and River Park Square. Fabulous packages raffled to support our symphony. 
We, we want, want a tree. tree. We, we want, want a tree, tree and so can you. you. Get your groove on at Mystic Walk Casino Hotel Sunday, December 31st. You could win your share of over $15,000 in cash. Enjoy party favors to ring in 2024. Learn more at mysticwalk.com. If you're looking for a new Tundra or Tacoma truck, Finley Downtown Toyota has over 70 in stock and ready to go. And if you're looking for a new RAV4, Highlander, or a Toyota 4Runner, we have over 100 in stock with great financing options. And if you're looking for a quality used vehicle, we've got a whole city block full of fantastic choices that come with a three month, 3,000 mile warranty. So if you're looking for a great selection at a great price, you can find it at Finley. More Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source. It is 6-11. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. This morning, Elon Musk is apologizing for endorsing an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory on his social media platform, X. Speaking to the New York Times, the world's richest man accused companies of blackmailing him with advertising. Musk has been criticized for agreeing with a user on X who falsely claimed Jewish people are stoking hatred against white people. Musk saying the user was saying the, quote, actual truth. The controversy could reportedly cost X up to $75 million in lost ad revenue by the end of this year. Fresh off its contract fights with Detroit's big three automakers, the UAW is targeting more car makers with organizing drives. It's trying to organize, uh, unionize workers at companies like Tesla, Toyota, Honda, and Volkswagen. And a lot going on in your weather as a winter storm pushes towards the region. Mostly cold, cloudy today, although we are seeing some snow flurries this morning. We will see more substantial snow begin tonight and last through the weekend. Well, with winter weather here, it's important to take it slow on the roads and be on the lookout for ice. Firefighters say ice is what caused this car to go off an embankment on the South Hill Tuesday near 9th and Stevens. Rescue crews had to hoist the man up from the wreckage using a special stretcher. The driver only suffered minor injuries. Around the same time, the Department of Transportation says there were at least five crashes on I-90 between Liberty Lake and Spokane. We saw the big crashes yesterday on I-92 west of Spokane. Uh, so here are some tips from DefensiveDriving.org to lower your chances of crashing this winter. Brake slowly, especially if you are skidding. Slamming on the brakes can cause you to spin out. Instead, gently pump the brakes so your car can come to a slow and deliberate stop. Give the car in front of you lots of space. The driver may not be familiar with the weather and may also have problems when it comes to speeding up and slowing down. Finally, give yourself more time to get to wherever you need to go. For more tips, just look for this story on KXLY.com. Good morning, Northwest Time is now 613. We're about uh, less than 12 hours away from a very important event. The official lighting of our Extreme Teams Making Spirits Bright display in the park below Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. We have a live report right after the break. Too much turkey? Cut the calories and shop the extended Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row. Find huge savings store-wide. And the more you buy, the more you save. Leave 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Plus four years, no interest. Hurry, the extended Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row ends soon. I'm Chad Young from TheEasyHomeBuyer.com, Spokane and Coeur d'Alene's easiest way to sell your house fast. If you have a few moments, I hope you'll give me the opportunity to make you an instant cash offer on your home. With TheEasyHomeBuyer.com, we will buy your house in as-is condition with no repairs, no closing costs, and no commissions. To get your no-obligation cash offer, give us a call or visit us online at TheEasyHomeBuyer.com. Pick up the phone to inquire. Call the easy Bounced from one doctor to the next. Did they even send my lab work? Wait, was I supposed to bring that? Then there's the forms, the bills, the not a bills, the. Press forward and repeat the caption. Healthcare can get a whole lot easier when your medical records, care, and coverage are in one place. At Kaiser Permanente, all of us work together for all that is you. ABC's World News Tonight at 4 News Now, when the local story is national news. When national stories hit home, watch ABC World News Tonight at 5.30. And 4 News Now at 6. That's what we mean when we say expect more. Rich chocolate candy and creamy caramel. That's how you roll them. 
Dark chocolate, refreshing peppermint. Enter York mode. It's here once again. An adventure in Coeur d'Alene with family and friends. Trees will light up, snow will fall, while you're dining, shopping, and having a ball. Santa and STCU hit elves in secret spots, so keep an eye out and you could win lots. If you find our elf on a shelf while in downtown Coeur d'Alene, a fig pickle shopping spree, Seahawks tickets, or gift cards you could gain. Don't miss a chance to get a photo with Santa. Explore cdadowntown.com if you want to learn more. At Finley Downtown Toyota, there's never been a better time to trade up to something better. As we are loaded up with the best selection of new and used vehicles to choose from. With great financing options available. Finley Toyota's Downtown. There's a way to cut your dishwashing time by 50%. Try Dawn Power Wash Dish Spray. It removes 99% of grease and grime in half the time. It cleans so well, you can replace multiple cleaning products. Try Dawn Power Wash. Too much turkey? Cut the calories and shop the extended Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row. Find huge savings store-wide. And the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Plus four years, no interest. Hurry. The extended Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Four News Now is brought to you by Washington Trust Bank. Live stream KXLY Plus on the Four News Now app. It is 616. It is reveal day for our annual Making Spirits Bright Extreme Team event. Mark Peterson and his team have been working hard to transform Cowley Park into a winter wonderland. This is a Four News Now tradition for the young patients at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. We look forward to it all year. Four News Now's Allison Martinez is there giving us a bit of a sneak peek. Good morning. Good morning, we're giving you a sneak peek. You can see some bright lights behind me, but this is only the slightest hint of how beautiful and bright this park is going to be later today. Now, there are so many volunteers who are crucial for making this happen. One of those volunteers is named Sam. He's been volunteering since the very beginning. He started volunteering with his wife, Pam. Now, sadly, just in September, Pam passed away just one day short of her one year anniversary of battling breast cancer. Now the two were longtime dedicated vol volunteers. We spoke to Span Sam earlier this week. Here's what he had to say about Pam. She was the best of all of us. Cared about everybody, didn't care their situation, didn't care where they were. She was there to help. And in this world that's so lacking. Now, Sam and Pam were married for 30 years, and like I said, they were dedicated here. Sam says that the holiday season reminds him of the bright light that Pam was in this world. Now, they were inspired to start volunteering in honor of their two granddaughters who overcame leukemia. Now, a special part of the display this year is a tree that is here in the park today, and it is pink and purple in honor of Pam. You can see that behind me. And like I said, this is just one of the many special displays that we have here in the park this year. Like I said, tonight at 6.30 is when you'll be able to see the full display come to life. Reporting in Spokane, Allison Martinez for News Now. A tree turned out perfect. Amazing. It's gorgeous. Uh, not so <laughs> is what we're seeing out there. So gorgeous is to the eye of the beholder oh, when it comes right, to this kind right. of weather. You're, I apologize to anyone We saw I've a offended. snowflake or two fly past Allison while she uh -huh. was in Cali Park. We do have just the lightest possible snow that is creating a little skiff in some of the parking lots here in downtown Spokane. You could see that white sheen at Veterans Memorial Arena. 24 degrees right now. We will stay in the 20s around Spokane I'm going to keep a chance of snow with the forecast through about 9 or 10 in the morning. We'll dry out for a little bit, but then once we get later into the evening, I expect that snow to return, but a little heavier this time. We got reports of snow as far north as Colville and Kettle Falls. You can see that light snow hovering right over Lake Roosevelt. We're also seeing the snow from Electric City through the Highway 2 corridor, so along Highway 2 to Spokane, all the way to the Grand Coulee Dam. Slow it down. You're going to run into a little bit of snow and perhaps some slick roads. We've also had a little bit of snow in the Ritzville area this morning. Potential here, especially as you head further south for some areas of freezing drizzle. So really across the Palouse, 
we just got to slow it down. We got to be start getting a little bit more careful out on the roads, especially with more snow on the way. For the rest of the day, largely dry once this gets out of here the more, after the morning hours. Temperatures around 29 degrees tonight, right around 23, and that snow will begin to start cranking up. Could be as early as, say, 8 or 9 o'clock that we start to see some more substantial snow moving into Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. There's going to be a bigger round of snow, heavier snow, once we get past the morning commute and through the middle portion of the day. That means the evening commute is going to be a little sketchy for Friday, and that's one of the big reasons why we have this weather alert day. Plus, we're going to have more stacking on top of that heading into Saturday morning. So let's kind of show you here what we'll expect. About an inch or an inch in change in Kootenai County, with a little bit less than that around an inch as we get through the morning commute on Friday. And then for the evening commute, you can see we start to see those twos and threes begin to pop up there. We got a lot of snow on the way here, folks, uh, considering we've only had one real snow event so far this season. It's going to be a change. Mm -hmm. It's going to be something. And then it all melts back into rain. And we got a really wet week coming up next week. So lots of melting snow. Um, unfortunately, I think it may melt some of the snow that the ski areas are going to no. get as well. So yeah. it's going to be a, a little bit, a little bit double-edged sword here with this weather pattern. Yeah, sounds like it. Well, Matt, thanks so much. It's now 6:21. After a one-year hiatus, the Gonzaga women's basketball team took to the hardwood against Eastern Washington in what ended up being a very tight game. We'll have the highlights next in sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Celebrate the holidays and the magic of the season at Madison Home Market. Madison Home Market is the perfect place to find holiday gifts and festive decor to warm your home. From unique furniture to one-of-a-kind ornaments. Madison Home Market, 2928 North Medelia. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. My favorite thing about the Power Swabs is that I was actually able to take the swab and really get through some of those areas that are kind of like untreated. I felt like I, I can immediately see the results and I'm like, oh, I'm definitely starting to see the shades getting brighter and brighter or whiter and whiter. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just a snap, swab, and smile. And in each five-minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays and start using the Power Swabs 5-Minute Solution. Well, they're whiter, they're brighter, and I feel better about my smile. And it was so easy to do. One friend was like, did you, your teeth look like really white. Did you, did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did Power Swabs. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. This Cyber Week, order Power Swabs and receive up to 50% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 50% off and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit Power Swabs com today. Celebrate the holidays and the magic of the season at Madison Home Market. Madison Home Market is the perfect place to find holiday gifts and festive decor to warm your home. From unique furniture to one-of-a-kind ornaments. Madison Home Market, 2928 North Medelia. Welcome into Morning Sports. I'm Julian Minnesone. Gonzaga women's basketball didn't have last night's game as one of the tougher ones circled on their calendar. But wow, the Bulldogs got all they could handle from Eastern Washington. The matchup between the Zags and Eagles took a hiatus last season due to health and safety protocols. So we had to wait a year, but this one did not disappoint. Final seconds of the first quarter. Eastern Washington grabs the rebound. Throws it up to Aliyah Alexander, who gets it to go at the buzzer. Eagles hanging tough down by three.
Third quarter, game tied. One second left. Yvonne Ejim scores off the inbounds play to give Gonzaga the lead going into the fourth. It was back and forth all night long. Game tied at 80. Final minute, Kalen Trong with the pump fake and finds Eliza Hollingsworth to put the Bulldogs in front late. Now it's Eastern's turn. Seven seconds to go. Down by two. They need to score to either tie or win the game. It'll be Jaleesa Lawrence open in the corner for the win, but it hits the side of the backboard. Gonzaga can breathe easy. They win this game. 82 to 80 is the final. Ejim led the way with 23 points and 10 rebounds for the Zags. We found a way to, to win it, and I think that's because they didn't. We, we don't have a second to feel sorry for yourself. You just have to turn around and get back. And our team didn't do that today. Um, and I, I haven't seen that in them. It's not like this is a new thing. I think that's who they are. You know, that's the takeaway, I guess, in, in one of these tough losses is, is trying to grow from it and continue to learn and, and the whole journey of the season. And, um, you know, this game will help us in, in the Big Sky Tournament. Gonzaga hosts number three Stanford on Saturday, Eastern Washington host Boise State on Sunday. Now to Pullman, where the basketball game wasn't as close. Washington State dominated Texas A&M Commerce. Eleonora Veal with the lay-in there as the Cougs. They did it inside. They had it working outside as well. Tara Wallach for three. Now, speaking of Villa, she had her best game of the season. 20 points for the freshman. To say Washington State ran away with this one would be an understatement. The Cougars win 111 to 50. Yeah, that's a real score. WSU had seven different players scoring double figures in this one. Next up for the Cougs, they'll take on UC Davis at home on Friday. And that'll wrap us up for Morning Sports. In this morning's GMA First Look, Porch Pirate Alert. Caught on camera, a delivery driver in Kansas approaches the door with a package, sets it down and takes a picture of it, but then he looks around and grabs the package again, taking off with it. And this morning, the victim of that suspected porch theft speaking out to GMA. My initial reaction was shock because you hear about things like this happening, but there are always like random people in the neighborhood that come and get them. I've never heard of a delivery person doing it. And with all those Black Friday and Cyber Monday packages on the way, authorities say suspected crimes like this one are on the rise nationwide. Nationwide. During this time of year, of course, there are more gifts, more presents, more boxes, so it makes the opportunity much better than it is other times of the year. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll show you the creative ways communities across the country are fighting back against porch pirates. With your GMA First Look, I'm Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. building a better postal service with easy, more affordable ways to ship so you can deliver even more holiday joy. The United States Postal Service, delivering for America. My name is Josh Sanabria, and I'm the owner at Isla Veterinary Boutique Hospital. I was five, six years of age, and I knew I was going to be a vet. Once Alexandra called me to let me know that Bank of America had approved my loan, it was important to me. We not only just provide the financing piece, we do everything that we can to surround them with the right people. All you need is a perfect, amazing team that will guide you through the right steps to be successful. And that's what Bank of America was for me. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. KXLY, celebrating 70 years on the air. Mystiquan Casino Hotel is the place to spend this holiday season for your chance to win. PVR tickets, retro boom boxes, Nintendo Switch gaming devices, PS5 gaming consoles, Hogs game tickets, and of course, cash. Find the perfect gift for your wine lover during our 12 days of gifting. A new special every day. Visit us in-store or online. Come in to Leta Creek today. Sip, shop, and ship most anywhere in the USA. Cheers!
It's that time of year again. The lights at Cowley Park are going to be lit up this holiday season, and we've got a lot of new stuff coming in. It's going to be a wonderful ground display. For News Now, the Extreme Team, making spirits bright. Brought to you by Ace Hardware and Horizon Credit Union. Spokane's hottest music. Break me from so Your bathroom needs for breeze small spaces. The always on odor fighting air freshener you set and forget. No outlets used, no batteries needed, no effort required. So your bathroom stays continuously fresh for 45 days. That's the power for breeze small spaces. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. The 4 News Now story tracker starts with news that affects every single person in the world. 2023 is set to break the record for warmest year. The World Meteorological Organization's State of the Global Climate Report is out this morning. It shows the globe has uh, been about 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit above pre-industrial levels. The rise in temperature threatens to increase extreme weather events around the globe. NASA is mourning the loss of trailblazing astronaut Mary Cleave, who died Monday. She was the 10th woman to travel into space when she flew her first mission in 1985 on the space shuttle Atlantis. She was also the first woman to pilot a space shuttle, spending a total of 10 days in orbit over her missions. Cleave was 76 years old. Good morning, Northwest. I'm Robin Nance. It is Thursday, November 30th. Let's check in with Matt Gray. He's filling in for Mark Peterson. And Matt, it is... Uh, going to be a sketchy morning. <laughs> yeah, it's good sketchier by the minute as we've got a little bit of light snow. It's about the lightest snow you will ever see. Almost looks like glitter coming down from the sky this morning, but it is enough to create a little skiff in some of the parking lots here in downtown Spokane. We've got a little bit of those uh, aggressive flurries around Coeur d'Alene as well, but it will be enough to potentially create some slick conditions on our area roads. So hey, time to get in winter driving mode now with more snow on the way tomorrow and this weekend. Got to slow it down out there, but you can see snow extending all the way north into northern Stevens County through Deer Park into the Davenport area and across Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, even though our radar are having a little bit trouble picking it up over the metro. We've also got scattered snow showers for Britsville south all the way to the Snake River. And now that trying to track in towards Pomeroy and around the Palouse as well. So everybody got to slow it down a little bit this morning. So a little bit of that aggressive flurries, as I mentioned, through the morning hours, drive for the middle part of the day, and then more snow is on the way for this evening. In fact, a lot more snow over the next couple of days. I'll show you how much coming up. Matt, thanks. The second trial is underway for a former Pasco police officer accused of killing a Spokane woman 37 years ago. Richard Aguirre is being retried for first degree murder. Aguirre was originally tried in 2021, but the judge declared a mistrial when the jury couldn't reach a verdict. Aguirre is accused of killing this woman, Ruby Doss, in 1986. Doss was a sex worker whose body was found in a vacant lot in East Spokane in an area known for prostitution. Both the prosecution and defense gave their opening statements yesterday. Both of their cases heavily rely on a condom found at the crime scene. While the prosecution says the DNA from the condom matches Aguirre's, the defense says there are issues with it, claiming it was mishandled. The lead detective says he found that condom at a nearby manure pit where he also found some of Doss's clothing. The fact that it looked like Ruby Doss's could be Ruby Doss's clothes and uh, it appeared as if an effort to hide them had been made because they're stuffed in to the manure pile. Exhibit 42. The defense later presented a photo of what she believed to be other condoms in the area. When she questioned the detective about it, he said he was confident no other condoms were found. And we continue to follow details from the Middle East at the Breaking Now desk. Overnight, Israel and Hamas have agreed to extend their six-day ceasefire by one more day. The development coming hours after Hamas released another 16 hostages, including one American. 49-year-old dual American Israeli citizen Liat Benin was kidnapped alongside her husband, who was still missing. The mother of three has ties to New York and Philadelphia. She's now the second U.S. hostage to be released. Benin's sister, speaking to ABC's Matt Gutman, listen to this. Until we got that, the final okay that she really was amongst the people that were returned, then I could finally breathe, take a deep breath. 
The U.S. says at least eight more Americans are missing. It's not clear at this point who is holding them or where. One of those Americans is 23-year-old Hirsch Goldberg. His family is still holding out hope for his release, but his father saying information has been hard to get from U.S. officials. We are not getting any concrete information, certainly not at a personal level, about Hirsch, our son, from the U.S. The latest truce extension will allow for the exchange of 10 more Israeli hostages for 30 imprisoned Palestinian women and teenagers. It will also allow more aid into Gaza. The United Nations reporting food and medical supplies are desperately needed. And this morning, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Tel Aviv working to help move more aid into Gaza. He's also expected to meet with Palestine's president. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Around the nation, plans for U.S. border controls may be a part of the Ukraine-Israel aid deal, but a member a number of Democrats remain divided on whether more conditions need to be placed on aid sent to Israel. Republicans are insisting that significant changes must first be made to asylum policy and to the way the Biden administration handles so-called humanitarian parole. Any package that passes the Senate would also have to get through the GOP-led House, which is also likely to reject conditions on the Israel aid. School, schools will be able to get free antigen tests for COVID-19 starting next month. The Department of Health and Human Services plans to teach districts how to request them soon. Officials say schools can keep the test on site or send them home with the kids. The news comes as hospitalizations from COVID have been on the rise and officials expect cases to spike. New battery manufacturing company Sela is opening its doors in Moses Lake, bringing hundreds of new jobs to the community. State and local leaders got a preview of the new plant yesterday. Most electric vehicle battery materials are from China, but Sela's CEO says their company's goal is to create a domestic supply chain to make EVs more affordable in the United States. And so it's critical for us to have a domestic supply chain uh, for batteries uh, from, for a lot of reasons. And, uh, and the right way to do that isn't to try to catch up with old technology. It's really to build the future technology uh, here first. Sela is working with Big Bend Community College and the Columbia Basin Technical Skills Center to provide vocational training for local students. When the facility is complete, the company plans to hire up to 500 full-time workers. The plant is expected to open next year. Good morning, Northwest Time is now 637. Matt Gray filling in for Mark Peterson with a very um, interesting forecast, shall we say. Oh, interesting. That's my favorite word <laughs> this time of the year because we all know what it means. Things are about to be less than convenient. And certainly that includes tomorrow. The first snow, the first decent snow in a long time. And so it is a weather alert day because... We all know when it starts snowing, things of the roads could get nasty pretty fast. And we do expect that on Friday and Saturday. Coming up, and by forecast, I'll show you how much snow we are expecting. Are you chomping at the bit to hit the slopes? So are skiers and snowboarders all across the region. How the late ski hill openings are affecting resorts from Schweitzer to Skykomish. And you've probably heard about thieves targeting Kias and Hyundais. Coming up, how a local dealership is stepping in with some free help for those car owners when we come back. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. At Finley Downtown Toyota, there's never been a better time to trade up to something better as we are loaded up with the best selection of new and used vehicles to choose from. With great financing options available. Finley Toyota's Downtown. 820,000 Washington State residents are family caregivers. November is Family Caregivers Month, and they deserve our recognition. Let's continue working towards solutions to provide support. To find out how you can raise your hand and join in the effort, visit this website. Living in the Inland Northwest has its advantages, and one of those is working with amazing people who dedicate their time and efforts to help others. STCU's Volunteers Count is a program to say thank you for this service and inspire others to give back, too. Please tell us about a volunteer at a local nonprofit that inspires you. Go to kxly.com slash volunteers count and nominate them. Help us showcase those people who give of their time and truly make a difference. Volunteers Count brought to you by 4 News Now and STCU. Black Friday mattress discounts have been extended today through this Monday at Walker's. 
Save up to $900 on Serta iComfort and Beautyrest Black Hybrid sets. Plus, save up to $300 on Purple mattresses. And take advantage of no money down, no minimum purchase, no interest for five years. Plus, receive up to $300 of free furniture, making it the perfect time to improve your sleep for less. This Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday at Walker's. November is the perfect time to make tempting treats like a sweet, savory apple pie before winter sets in. Or you could bag that idea altogether and fatten up your wallet during the $50,000 Slice of Luck giveaway at Northern Quest instead. Okay, let's face it, you're never going to make the pie. Fatten up your wallet for winter with a $50,000 Slice of Luck giveaway. Play daily for entries only at Northern Quest. Watch me. Watch my first step turn to leaps and bounds. Watch me play carefree while the world goes round. Listen to me join in with every girl and boy. Screams of happiness, limitless joy. Watch me run through the grass and sand. They said I would, now I can. Watch me. Shriners Children's, the most amazing care anywhere. It's now 640. You might remember the Kia Boys trend on social media. Young thieves filming themselves hacking into certain years and models of cars to steal them. This week, Hyundai of Spokane is offering a free event to help prevent those types of thefts. If you have a 2011 to 2022 Hyundai that uses a standard key, you can bring it into Hyundai of Spokane Valley this weekend where you can get a free software update that will help protect your car from theft. You don't even need an appointment. I still have friends and people who own Hyundais and Kias that don't even know that this is happening. And it's still happening. To find out if your vehicle is affected, you can find the list of models and years inside this story on KXLY.com. Well, busy weather, winter weather. <laughs> We've already got some flurries this morning. And things really start to crank up as we head into tonight. It is going to be snowy on Friday and even snowier to start the weekend. Local skiers are impatient with a relatively balmy November. Schweitzer Mountain only has a couple of runs open. Silver Mountain and 49 degrees north hope to open this weekend. But Mount Spokane and Lookout Pass are stuck waiting for Mother Nature to do her thing. In central Washington, the delay of snow isn't just impacting resorts. Businesses along Highway 2 near Stevens Pass that rely on the winter sports visitors are hurting from the lack of traffic. They don't have that traffic, that can be tough. Yes, it affects the whole valley. We really rely on the skiing to start skiing and snowboarding. We really need to have it by the middle of December before Christmas break starts. That's that's kind of the, the real, real, um, real goal. Stevens Pass Ski Resort says it needs more snow before it can open. Further west, who you just heard from, Sky Comish Mayor Henry Sladek, says snowfall would help businesses in town, but too much all at once? You know, that's not such a great thing either. Good morning, Northwest Time is now 642. Allison Martinez live in Cali Park. We have a sneak peek for you of the Extreme Team's Making Spirits Bright display coming up on 4 News Now. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Too much turkey? Cut the calories and shop the extended Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row. Find huge savings storewide. And the more you buy, the more you save. Leave 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Plus four years, no interest. Hurry, the extended Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row ends soon. News Now First Alert Weather app. Download or update it today. Expect even more from KXLY Plus. Live updates from the 4 News Now team. Breaking news as it happens. Weather every 10 minutes. Free on your time. Download the app. Connect to your streaming TV. And connect on KXLY Plus.
It's time appliances had a personality. Yours. Introducing CAFE, the customizable appliance. Customize your suite at CafeAppliances.com. CAFE, distinct by design. Earn up to $2,000 on select CAFE suites when you customize your appliances according to your style. Fred's Appliance, local like you. Febreze. Still living with odors? Get back in there and freshen instantly with Febreze Air Mist. Febreze's fine mist floats longer in the air to fight even your toughest odors. So long, stinky smells and a low, amazing freshness. <laughs> Febreze Air Mist. Too much turkey? Cut the calories and shop the extended Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row. Find huge savings store-wide. And the more you buy, the more you save. Leave 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Plus four years, no interest. Hurry. The extended Black Friday Super Sale at Furniture Row ends soon. For news now, expect more on air, online, and on the app. It is quarter till seven, and it is that time of year again. For news now, and the extreme team are making spirits bright. The team has been hard at work to transform Cali Park for the young patients at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital, and really the whole community. For news now's Allison Martinez is there, showing us around a little bit. Yes, good morning. In just a few hours, this entire park will be completely transformed. We have the slightest sneak peek of all the beauty that you can expect right here, right now. Now, this display means so much to so many people, but most importantly, the children inside of Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. Now, I'm here with Mary from the Children's Miracle Network. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you so much for joining good morning. us. Yes. Now, Mary knows firsthand just how important this is to these kids. Can can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, the kids love it. They really do. They, it's so beautiful. They're, they all have a favorite tree or a favorite ground display. Um, one of the things when this began many years ago, um, I think what wasn't expected is how much the kids love watching it in the daytime. They love watching the setup and the trucks and the lifts and all the volunteers. So it's, it's a wonderful distraction when they're in their rooms just watching the setup. And then, of course, the lights are, are amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Now tell me, what's been the conversation inside? the hospital you mentioned they're all watching the setup staff <laughs> patients everyone what's everyone saying in there it really is a whole hospital experience uh, everyone loves it patients um, their families grandparents that are here visiting kids and our hospital caregivers I was mentioning that our cafeteria our hospital cafeteria overlooks the park has a great view of the lights and you hear the hospital caregivers in there talking over and over again about how beautiful it is and when I was there yesterday we were had a vantage point watching the work go on so many of them said this is this is amazing and humbling and a real honor that all of these people you know the extreme team kicks away ace hardware horizon credit union and many many volunteers coming out to do this for the benefit our, of our patients and families and caregivers that it's just it's really humbling and honor yeah it's so amazing and we're so excited tonight to see all the reactions and share this very special moment you can see it tonight at 6 30 thank you so much for joining us this is allison martinez reporting in spokane back to you guys it really is a very, very special thing yeah, that they it's do. it's going to be awesome. It is. Some fresh snow on top will make it look even better, right? Sure would. Well, that's going to be the positive here of what mm. otherwise is going to be a very difficult couple of days to get around the inland northwest. That's why Friday is a 40s now weather alert day. Headed off to work at school in the snow and coming home, perhaps more importantly, with snowy conditions. It continues on into Saturday. Dangerous past conditions as that snow continues to stack up Friday night and Saturday morning. And then it all starts to melt heading into Sunday. So it's not going to be around long, but it'll be around long enough to cause some issues. How much snow are we expecting for Friday through Saturday? This is for the Spokane area. Our chances of an inch or greater, very high. Our inches of two inches or greater, also very high. Once we get up into that four inch plus range, though, things drop off quite a bit. So that gives you an idea of how we compute these ranges for you. We're Spokane. We're talking about two to four inches over the next couple of days. Coeur d'Alene's going to see more three to six. Sandpoint four to eight potentially here. Lewiston sees a lot less three to five around the Palouse. Colville and OMAC one to three. Moses like an inch or two there as well. So 
Watch what happens here as we talk about timing here. Could be as early as about 8 or 9 o'clock tonight that we start to see the first round of snow. Either way, that first round pretty light, only about an inch or so through the overnight hours and for the morning commute, but it'll still be slick and slippery. The heavier snow or the first round of heavier snow is going to come in for the middle of the day on Friday, which means the afternoon commute is going to be sketchier than the morning commute. We get another small break and then more wet weather, potentially both rain and snow through the overnight. Cascades passes are going to be a no-go this weekend. They're okay for the morning, tomorrow morning, but then look at this. 20 inches of Snoqualmie, 25 for Stevens Pass by the time we're getting up on Saturday morning. Here's your totals for the passes. It is going to wow. be gnarly up there. Wow. Avoid that pass travel if you can. Wow. And I'm going to come back with your extended outlook because we are going to flip over to rain and I'll show you how long that rain will expect <sighs> to expect it rather coming up in just a few minutes. But yeah, that pass snow is we got some eye popping numbers here. With yeah, this thing. that's real. Matt, thanks. It's now 10 minutes before the hour. Your morning sprint up next. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. KXLY, celebrating 70 years on the air. Okay, rappers, wrap up an AutoNation Chevrolet today. Drive a new Silverado or Equinox with 1.9 APR and no payments for 90 days. Yep, that's a wrap. What drives you drives us. AutoNation Chevrolet. Everybody Some know it as prime rib. Officially, it's called a ribeye roast. We call ours divine. Tender, mouth-watering Hereford beef, aged five weeks to absolute perfection. Oven ready and easy. Divine beef ribeye roast. Reserve yours immediately, exclusively at Yolks Fresh Markets. Satisfaction with AARP and the Stones. AARP members get special presale access to the Stones Tour 24. Hackney Diamonds. Presale starts November 29 at 10 a.m. local time. Not an AARP member? Learn more or join today. Hi, I'm Garrett, and I'm a holiday comfort advisor. I've lived on Spokane South Hill for years now, and I love being able to service customers in my own neighborhood and sometimes making friends while doing it. I started Holiday in Cheney, and now we've grown to service all areas in the Spokane region. Like South Hill, Northside, Deer Park, Spokane Valley, and even Coeur d'Alene. Just like Garrett, we are all connected to the local area. Fixed right, or it's free. Holiday heating, cooling, and electric. The Black Friday savings have been extended at all Walker's Furniture and Mattress stores. Get extended holiday discounts or take advantage of no money down, no minimum purchase, five years no interest financing. On furniture for every room in your home, this week at Walker's. Okay, wrap it uppers. Wrap up the year in a new AutoNation Chevrolet. Lease a new 2023 Silverado, just $4.49 a month. And that's a wrap. What drives you drives us. AutoNation Chevrolet. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is 6.53, time to get you ready to take on your Thursday with the morning sprint. Snow is headed our way. Matt Gray will tell you when, where, and for how long it'll stick around. It's reveal day for our annual Making Spirits a Bright Extreme Team event. Allison Martinez is live in Cali Park with a sneak peek. But first, Israel and Hamas have extended their ceasefire extension deal. Let's get right to Sydney Charles with the details. The, the truce between Israel and Hamas has been extended for just one more day. That new deal was reached just minutes before the previous pause was due to expire. Officials from both sides issued statements saying the pause in military action will continue for a seventh day. The new deal is expected to lead to, lead to the release of more hostages kidnapped from Israel in exchange for imprisoned Palestinians. This marks the second time the pause in military action has been lengthened since the original four-day truce that started on Friday. 
And in your weather, snow is the big story. We've got more on the way for this weekend, but right now, some light snow flurries across the inland northwest slow down with the potential for some slippery road conditions. We'll keep those flurries going through the morning. Heavier snow will be coming this evening, and snow is going to continue all the way through the weekend. Stay with us for your seven-day forecast. The apparent ringleader of a massive multi-state insurance fraud scheme that hit Spokane and Coeur d'Alene is in custody. William Mize has been on the run since 2019. According to court documents, he was involved in dozens of insurance fraud schemes dating as far back as 2013. U.S. Marshals arrested him at a marina in Jacksonville, Florida yesterday. New court documents show a man suspected of shooting and killing his 11-year-old sister in Medical Lake and then trying to kill himself is not likely to recover. According to the affidavit, Surveillance video captured Jordan Lynn Brownlow shooting Lily Stolworthy Sunday outside his Mustang, then driving away. Once he got about five blocks away, he sent his roommate and some family members a group text that read, I'm sorry, please forgive me. He was found with a gunshot wound taken to the hospital. According to court documents, Brownlow shows no brain activity and is not expected to survive. The court documents did not reveal a motive for the shooting. The candlelight vigil for Lily Stolworthy will be held tonight at 6.30 at Wilcox Park in Medical Lake. The second trial is underway for a former Pasco police officer accused of killing a Spokane woman 37 years ago. Richard Aguirre is being retried for first-degree murder. He was originally tried in 2021, but the judge declared a mistrial when the jury could not reach a verdict. Aguirre is accused of killing Ruby Das in 1986. She was a sex worker whose body was found in a vacant lot in East Spokane. Both the prosecution and defense gave their opening statements yesterday. Both of their cases heavily rely on a condom found at the crime scene. While the prosecution says the DNA from the condom matches Aguirre's, the defense says there are issues with it, claiming it was mishandled. We have more details about this case under this story on KXLY.com. In a little more than a month, Spokane Mayor-elect Lisa Brown will take office. She's only been in City Hall for about three days, but has already plans to address some of Spokane's most pressing issues. Brown says homelessness and affordable housing are her biggest concerns. Brown says she anticipates changes, but her main focus is keeping people warm this winter. She also says she's looking into appointing an interim police chief while she looks for Chief Craig Meidel's replacement. New battery manufacturing company Sela is opening its doors in Moses Lake, bringing hundreds of new jobs to the community. State and local leaders got a preview of the new plant yesterday. Most electric vehicle battery materials are made in China, but Sela's CEO says their company's goal is to create a domestic supply chain to make EVs more affordable in the U.S. The plant is expected to open next year. We're live in Cowley Park where we've been pre previewing our Extreme Teams Making Spirits Bright event that's happening later today. Later this entire park will be lit up in so many bright lights and displays. Volunteers have been hard at work to make it happen for the children inside of Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. You can see it all tonight at 6.30. And your pets are getting into the holiday spirit. So many of you have already submitted your photos to kxly.com slash holiday pets. We want more. A lucky person will win a $200 gift card. Weather after this. For News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. Roundups like an accidental savings account. But how much can you really save? Yeah, I mean... Whoa. <laughs> There's so much more than employees. So give them the health plan they deserve. Primera Blue Cross, with access to a wide range of mental health resources. Primera Blue Cross, always in your corner. A mystery. Jesse loves playing detective. But the real mystery was her irritated skin. So we switched to Tide Pods Free and Gentle. It cleans better and doesn't leave behind irritating residues. And it's gentle on her skin. Tide Free and Gentle is EPA's Safer Choice certified. It's got to be Tide.
Well, the sun coming up behind the clouds here in downtown Spokane. We have seen some snow flurries throughout the morning, and that means we could see some slick spots in area roads. So just keep it a little bit slower out there as you're going about your morning drive. Upper 20s today. Dry conditions later, but then the snow starts up again this evening. Snowy weather on Friday. It is a 4 News Now weather alert day because of slick and slippery conditions. The snow continues to accumulate through Saturday morning, but after that, we start to see things warm up enough that things will begin to flip over to rain. Everything's going to melt by the end of the weekend. We've got a rainy week ahead of us. Oh boy, Matt, thanks so much. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you throughout Good Morning America. It starts now.